I mean, in elementary school, I was known as the throw up kid. Like, I would just, like, after every lunch, I would just throw up. And, like, they would come to pick me up. And I would tell my mom, like, I'm not sick. I would just, like, vomit and didn't understand why, but would have no symptoms. And, like, the administrative result would always think that I have a virus or I have something, like, wrong with me. But I kept telling them that I felt fine. Yet, I mean, emotionally and psychologically, like, it kind of, I guess, isolated me. Of my peer group yeah, like foods that I used to be able to eat I couldn't I couldn't eat any longer so my diet went from being you know pretty small to being just plain steak and plain chicken or like when any type of sauce and if I drink anything other than water I would be like so so drastically sick that I wouldn't even take any chances so at lunch I would just get plain steak and plain water but now even going into my second semester of college like even eating steak I would throw up no matter what I have a girlfriend that even in front of her, I'd have to, you know, be sick. And it was, you know, it was just really uncomfortable situation. I just, I just wanted this problem to be over. And until, until two days ago, my hope was, I mean, it was under zero. My mom didn't even think she would be able to get me on the plane. I was that sick. I couldn't get out of bed. This was like going into the last two days before we were leaving. My mom was researching feeding tubes and motility disorders. This was the first time my mom like looked at me and she just didn't know whether I was ever going to be able to go back to school. Granted, just going back next semester, which I planned on. When I when Dan came in and told me that he found something, I was, I just couldn't believe it because you know after 20 years, they've not one doctor's ever told me they found something. And when he said that that they had a blockage and that they were going to be able to fix it in you know two to three minutes, I was just ecstatic from hearing that. But at the time, I honestly didn't believe that, you know, that would actually fix me. I just couldn't think that from, you know, the next day I would stop vomiting. I just thought that it would be a long process and this was just the start of a major issue. But um, three days out, I feel amazing. I haven't vomited. I could breathe like every other human being. It's just, I can't tell you how grateful I am. This was my last hope and I wasn't expecting anything coming up here. But I've been to some of the best gastros that I thought in, in all of Florida and I didn't honestly think that, that any, anyone could see something that any other gastro couldn't see but wow was I surprised and for, to, to that I will forever be grateful.